Hello friends and welcome home. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I got my kids for Christmas. To start out, I wanted to explain, um, I have a two and a half year old son and an almost five year old daughter. And we are more minimalist. If you've seen our gift guides or what we got in their stocking, uh, we like our gifts to be purposeful. And our kids do get gifts from other family members and stuff. So we wanted to keep Christmas at a somewhat um, reasonable amount. We ended up getting our kids five things each. And then as well as me making um, PJs for them. Previously I do Christmas PJs, but uh, they only end up wearing them for like a day and then it's past Christmas and it feels weird that they're in Christmas PJs. So this year I did it a little differently and I just picked out fabric that I think that they'd enjoy and now they can wear it basically the entire year. Um, so they each have five gifts as well as their PJs. And then um, this year we did something different as well where we gave each of them $20 to pick out a gift for the other child uh, because we only have two kids. For this Christmas, each of our children has PJs that were made, a blanket that I made, puzzles, a book, a big toy, and a little toy. And then also the gift that they got each other. So I'm gonna start with Lachlan. We're gonna start off with his PJs. These are his PJs that I made. This is a closer look at the fabric. This is from Joann's, it's like the doodle fabric, and then this is the solid for the cuffs. Um, and so yeah, this is his PJ top. And these are his bottoms. So these are the cuffs. Allison actually picked out the cuff color for them. So these are actually his PJs. And these are, I made them in a 4T for him. Um, that way they have room to go grow, plus the doodle fabric notoriously shrinks, so yeah. So these are his Christmas PJs and he'll be getting these on Christmas Eve. And what we kind of do, instead of them um, having like fancy Christmas clothes when we're not even going anywhere, sorry, his toy's making noise. Um, we, they just wear their PJs. They wear their special PJs all day. They're nice and cozy for Christmas. Um, and it's a gift that they got. So this is Lachlan's blanket. This is the fabric. It's just like a dinosaur theme. It is a single layer tie blanket. And if you're interested in learning how to make a tie blanket, they are super easy and you can learn off of like Pinterest or even YouTube. And I believe this is like a yard and a half of fabric. So this is the blanket that I made him. So we love reading and we have a ton of books at home. And so we decided to, um, get them each a book and so we went with giraffe Math problems we have a couple of books from this author um jory john and there's like penguin problems and there's a couple of other ones that we have that we like and so we thought that this would be a cute book to add and lachlan loves giraffes so we thought this would be a perfect addition uh, this is lachlan's puzzle it is a dragon theme, and I believe the pieces are about this, this big. And this puzzle is 50, 54 pieces, and this is a picture of the whole entire puzzle. All right, this thing is like really loud, sorry. Um, that's a picture of the entire puzzle. And this is the Genode, Genode? I don't know. I don't know how to say it brand. Um, everything I, you see here is off of Amazon and I will have a link down below. Um, yeah, so this is a cool puzzle. Lachlan loves puzzles. He's dinosaur. Everything's all about dinosaurs, but he does like dragons. So we thought this would be a cool little puzzle for him. And I really like the little case and it's got like a little latch. I also got each of the children um, a small toy gift and a large toy gift. And this is the Green Toys car carrier. And it, it's kind of like a tow truck and then there's three little toys inside. Um, it's got a detachable trailer, a working ramp, and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, we like green toys and um, they're just, they're really durable. 
and um, they get lots of uses and Lachlan loves cars so we um, we ended up going with this if we had saw the ferry boat the green cruise ferry boat before we had bought this we would have ended up getting that um, but we had already gotten this one instead so now I'm going to show you his big gift and you've probably heard it a couple of times and that is this little guy this is a for real t-rex and it comes with like a food and drink and um 30 it does 35 sounds and motions and lachlan is going to love this he's obsessed with dinosaurs and he has actually seen this in stores several times and he goes crazy for it they also have a triceratops which we almost got but we thought that the t-rex might be better because He's really into T-Rexes right now. Um, it used to be Triceratops was the number one, but not anymore. Um, but yeah, so notoriously we are very much about purposeful gifts, things that add to our life, and um, things that are open-ended and can be used in many different ways. So we, we went with something a little bit different than we normally would have bought. Um, but he's gonna go crazy over this thing so with our gifts you'll notice like we basically got the same thing for both kids and um, we actually were going to get like a walking unicorn one of the for reals for Allison um, because she saw it and she liked it too but it wasn't one of the top toy choices for her so while everything else is the same and they each have a big toy gift and they each have a small toy gift um, the toys that they got are not the same and uh, we decided to do that at the risk of having a huge meltdown on Christmas but we thought that Allison's gift should be gifts that she will enjoy the most instead of it all just being a equal and fair and they have the same exact things in their own way if that makes sense so now I'm gonna show you what we got for Allison um, so I have not made her PJs yet it's like eight days till Christmas and when I'm filming this video and I have not made her her PJs yet um, but this is the fabric it is a unicorn it is from Joann's it's the doodle brand it's unicorn magic and fairy princesses and all sorts of stuff it's gonna basically be the same as Lachlan's just in her size and for the cuff I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a purple um, purple or pink or orange there's just so many colors in here that I really can make any cuff match um, so the all right this little guy's gotta go away that's him making a noise. <laughs> but he's gonna go over here so he stops talking. Next is Allison's blanket, and I murdered my back making this freaking thing, and so I'm kind of afraid to lift it. But um, Allison's blanket is actually a weighted blanket. For a weighted blanket, I actually ended up getting this insert from Walmart, and it is six pounds, and this is just the insert. It's the insert, and then you just add, um, put it inside of a cover. This does come with directions on how to make the cover, but I'll be honest, they were super confusing and I did not understand them at all. So I kind of just made it my way and it worked out. Um, but I killed my back making this thing. Um, so it is six pounds because that is appropriate for her weight. So you have to go by weight. Um, and so I can't even lift it. But um, this is the front fabric. It's like a purple unicorn. And then the back is like mermaid scales. But like I said, I can't lift this thing up. My back is trashed right now. Um, I can't like hold it up or anything. So I'm not even gonna try. Basically kind of made it like you'd make a duvet if you know how to make one of those. I added ties inside to tie to the insert. And then the bottom, if I can find the bottom. This is the bottom and I just added snaps. I don't know if you can see them. Snaps, so it'll snap open so I can take out the insert to wash the cover when I need to. So it's just snapped closed on the bottom. Okay, so now we have Allison's book and we got her The Cool Bean, which we are super excited about. So um, this is, oh, this is by George Young too. I didn't even know that they were the same author. Um, so there's a book, there, there's other books like this. There's like The Good Egg, there's The Bad Seed, and we have those as well, and the kids love them. And so when I found out that this was coming out, it came out like December 3rd, um, I was like, I have to get the cool bean. Um, it was just, it was too cute not to get, especially because like we're vegan, and Allison loves chickpeas. Um, 
and I just thought that this was just too adorable not to add to our collection, especially when we already have the bad egg or the bad seed and the good egg and all of that. So this is super cute and I cannot wait to read it with them. We're on to Allison's puzzle. Um, we actually picked out a different puzzle, but then Allison happened to see it on like the Amazon website and she's like, oh, I don't like that one. And so we were like, ooh, we gotta return it. And so um, everything is like purple and unicorns with this girl. So this is the puzzle we ended up going with. It is Crocodile Creek and it is, how many pieces is it? It is a 36 piece puzzle. The puzzle pieces are about this size. And this is what the puzzle, this is what it looks like when it's all put together. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, yeah, so it'll just be a really great addition. We love, love, love puzzles and books. We love to sit down as a family and do those together. They're some of our favorite things and our kids love puzzles. So. We definitely wanted to add some puzzles to our puzzle collection. I guess this one would be considered her small gift. Um, and it's a kid's camera. She got the pink one. The box looks kind of plain, but I'll show you it online. Um, it does video, pictures, you can connect it to the computer, built-in rechargeable battery, expandable memory. Um, it says environmental protection mark. Um, and it also has games and stuff on it too, I believe. Let me pull it up. This is what it looks like outside of the box. And I actually got one for my niece as well because, I mean, at their age, she's only a year younger than Allison, at their, their age they love taking pictures and videos and um, it, when I looked at the reviews, it even had like some pictures that their kids had taken and I, don't, I just think it's a really awesome toy. I got it for $25. It's a couple more dollars extra. It's a little bit more right now, but I got it for $25 and I think it'd be super cute. Um, and I don't think it comes with a lanyard. If it doesn't come with like a lanyard thing to hold up, then I'll probably get an extra, like get one for her. Um, but I even read that the battery lasts like two and a half, three hours. But if you stop playing with it, it'll turn itself off to help like preserve the battery, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I think she's gonna love this. Now for her big gift is this Melissa and Doug ice cream scoop set. I'll try to show you what's in there if I can. So it comes, it's like this. Allison loves playing with like pretend food and setting up a restaurant um, and serving people and she just really enjoys that. So we thought this would be a great addition to all the pretend food that we have. And it comes with the ice cream counter, which is this wood case. It comes with the ice cream scoops, toppings, cone, cup, scooper, tongs, um, spoon, reusable menu, and six $1 bills. And it's a 28 piece set. This thing is expensive. If you don't get it on sale, you can get it like between $40 and $50. Um, if you watch the sales, I've seen it drop as low as $28 or I got it for $35. Um, they do have other versions without this wooden, without the wooden counter. They do have like cardboard box ones, but I didn't really want that. And I knew that the car, anything cardboard does not last with my kids. Um, so I definitely did not want to do that. Um, but yeah, so this is her big toy gift. And then um, now to show you what they got each other. What I ended up doing is for Christmas is I added a ton of things onto Amazon wish list. I had a wish list for both of them. And then I sat down with each kid. They reviewed their wish list, like shopping their own personal catalogs, and they decided whether they liked what I had added or not. And then we also shopped together and they got to add extra things. So when it came time, so when it came time for them to buy for each other, I just literally pulled up the wish list and they got to shop for the other kid and um, the, their budget was $20. And so Lachlan, this is from Lachlan to Allison and it's these colorful walkie talkies and um, it, they need four batteries each I think. Um, 
And I thought it was really cool that there's three of them because it's one for each of them. And then if they're playing with someone, there's an extra one. And it says they go for a three mile range. Um, there, it's it says eco-friendly material, press free to talk. Uh, it has like a, a special mode, drop resistant, clear sound, built-in flashlight. Um, and so I don't know. I just thought it would be really cool. Um, when we added it to the list and as soon as Lachlan saw this he was he was like 100% He wanted to get this for her and I can just see them running around the house playing with it I can see them in the backyard. Um, I think this is gonna be a really fun open-ended gift and um, I Think they're gonna love these So I think Lachlan picked them out because he thinks Allison will love them But also because he wants to play with it himself. So now on to what Allison got for Lachlan and it is the I Play, I Learn Firefighter. Um, the firefighter costume. I don't really want to pull everything out, but it comes with like a hat and a firefighter outfit. And it comes with like an ax, which I might not leave this in here because my kids, they, they get kind of rough. A little fire extinguisher. It comes with a walkie talkie, but now they've got the real deal. Um, yeah, so Lachlan loves, Lachlan's really into fire trucks right now with, when it comes to like, like he really likes firefighters. So he'll turn on the hose in the backyard and water the grass and pretend there's a fire. So, um, I think that he's going to love this and they love like per tape, per, they love pretend play and dress up, but we don't really have too much variety. We have like a couple of things, um, some dresses and um, more stuff that's for Allison, but I thought it was, was really cool because now there's something for, some a, an extra couple of things for Lachlan too. Um, and he does wear the dresses and he'll wear like the princess shoes and crown and all that stuff. He does not care, and I mean, nor should he. Um, but it's just nice that there's more variety now. But yeah, so that is it. That is what I got my kids for Christmas. Um, I will try to have everything linked down below, whatever I can find. Um, and if you haven't already, um, I have a stocking, what, what I'm putting in my kids stockings video and I'll link it down below as well as a gift guide for anyone on your shopping list and a gift guide for kids in case you have any last minute shopping to do before the holiday. Um, those gifts also work for birthdays as well so they're very versatile. And yeah, I'd love to know down in the comments what are you getting your kids for Christmas? Um, I'm gonna be looking around and look, I love these kind of videos on YouTube um, and they're, they're one of my favorites. So I'm definitely gonna be looking around and um, watching all the videos of what other people got for their kids for Christmas too. I think it's super fun. Um, and yeah, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I hope that you would subscribe to follow along and see more of our videos to come. And I'll see you next time, bye.